Hi YouTubers, this is part two and I'll be doing some more research on these batteries and how it monitors the cells and one thing or another and you've got these thin wires here which are like taps off the the batteries because it's like three three sets of batteries in series and each set has a tap and um, the issue I'm found is this this is the original wiring from the uh, atom and it's recommended a minimum gauge size for the wire to use on these taps on some of the controller boards and this is too thin you can imagine that there could be quite a lot of current flowing through these these are the main ones and it doesn't meet the requirement basically of what they recommend so I've got some thicker wires so that's the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to put the thicker wires onto the batteries and then I'm going to re-box this back in to this plastic box and then I'm going to find a way of mounting the board on top of here and it might be just double sided adhesive tape or something like that and make it nice and simple so that's my first job is to solder the wires on now I've removed this red wire you can see how thin it is I'll put that one on and I put a bit of insulting insulation tape on it I'm going to turn it over and put another one on the other side there's the other one see it there get rid of that wire it's too thin far too thin and I'll put insulation over here as well as an extra okay that's the other wire so these are the taps on the batteries for monitoring the balance of all the battery cells now there is space inside this plastic box to fit the BMS battery management system in here but I'm not going to do that I want to be able to get at it because I might change down I'm going to fit the 60 amp one most people use the 60 amp one and um, so I've decided I'm going to use the 60 amp one and have fuses the old-fashioned fuses in it rather than relying on the short circuit protection there is because um, yeah I'm not going to draw 60 amps or anything so I need to put fuses in it and that will probably be better for my application right it's over here I've put the wires on I've made sure the ends are well insulated I've checked the insulation everywhere else and it uh, it's okay put it that way right drop that in there and then I'm going to put the case back together this plastic put some more in insulation tape on it because that's all I've got and it looks like that's all it was holding it together anyway so I'm going to do that and uh, yeah that's the best I can do I think so here we've got the battery box taped up I put several layers of this ordinary insulation tape around it I don't know whether that's good enough um, I don't know what this material is I don't know whether it's flame proof or something I don't know I suppose I could put a match to it to see if it burns that'd be the best thing well I put a match to it to see and um, it doesn't burn any different than the insulation tape it goes out oh. actually <laughs> it didn't then let's try a bit of the insulation tape now oh, that's interesting the insulation tape is better than the original stuff because it self extinguishes oh well I'm glad I put that round it now now I've put the 60 amp board on and uh, the reason why I went for the 60 amp one most people tend to go for them even on smaller battery sizes and of course these devices the MOSFETs get warm so I'm going to put a heat sink on there 
and uh, but I've put it on with double sided sticky tape onto here so I can get it off if need be and uh, if I get, decide to go for the smaller power one uh, in terms of purchase price there uh, there's only a 50p difference between a 60 amp and a 20 amp board so what I've got to do now I've got to put the wires on in the right place and the black one is got to go to the zero point and then the 4.2 and the 8.4 I've got to measure uh, with my voltmeter on these wires but I'll put the black one on first and then I'll go from there uh, yeah that should do Try that. well most of the wires are on now under the battery pack for the BMS battery management system I've actually connected this onto it now which is the um, I don't know if you can see this light. Okay, that's better. You can see it. I'll just switch it off. And this is the USB charging uh, bit of kit I bought. It's got three USB, uh, two USBs on it. And I think they're three amp rated. And um, press this button here. It switches it off. Switching on. One click. There we go. It does a self test and it's reading uh, 12.4 volts at the moment, which is good. Press it once, it just goes to the USBs, press it again, hold it down, and it goes off. Yeah, that's better than the, um, the other one I've got. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can leave that sitting here for the time being. Have a bit of a tidy up. I keep getting I don't like super glue or moisture on my fingers. I think it might be super glue, so I've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> right, thanks for watching so far. Please subscribe and like.